Okay, today we're going to be using the BBC Microbit in order to create a watering device for some plants. We're going to do this in two sections. In the first section, we're going to program pins 0 and 1. Those are going to be connected to some crocodile clips that are going to go down to two metal terminals that are going to be in the plant pot. We're going to run current through those and test the resistance, and that will tell us whether the plant needs watering or not. Afterwards, we're going to program pins 2, 3, and 4. Those are going to be connected to a servo or motor, and those will actually control the device that will actually water the micro bit. Now, we won't be using the on start, so we can just throw that away. Everything we're going to write today is going to go in the forever loop because it's going to be consistently happening throughout. We're going to go to the advanced features. We're going to go to pins because we want to program the pins. And we're going to use analog write pin to start with. We'll change it from pin 0 to pin 1, so we're powering this pin. And we're going to increase the current right to the top, where it probably is to start with. That will put the most current through this pin, and it should give us the best results. After we've done that, we want to remember the reading it takes, so we want to be able to store the information um, from the current going through the soil. So we're going to go to variables, we're going to create a variable, and we're going to call it reading. And we're going to set the reading to not zero, but the result from this. Now, we're not actually going to measure on pin one, we're going to measure on pin zero. So we're going to go to pins, analog read pin zero and that will store the information as the variable reading. We can then reduce the power on pin one, so we're going to go back into pins. We're going to pull analog pin again, change that to one, but this time we're going to reduce the current right the way down to zero. And once we've done that we can go to the LED and we can plot a bar graph of, now we want to get the information from the variable we've produced, we can go to variables, go to reading, and we want to take it up to the maximum value we've got there, which is 1023. Now this will actually read the moisture of the soil for us, but we can't see any results. We want to be able to see something we can check it with. So we're going to go to logic, and we're going to use an if statement. We don't want if true, we want to do if, and we're going to use the button press, so if button A is pressed, then what we want to see is we want to see the number, the, basically the reading that it's actually producing, and say show number, and from variables we're going to use reading. Once we've done that, we can pause this, so we're going to go to pause and set pause at 100. And if we test this, what we should see is most of the time very little is happening here, it's still loading. But once we press on the A, we should see a reading. Because nothing's attached to the 0 or the 1 pin, the reading is 0 at this point. OK, you can see we finished the first part of the programming. We've got one pin connected to one uh, screw, in this case, going into the plant. And we've got one pin connected to a second screw. And if I press on button A here, we can see we start to get a reading measuring the moisture level in the plant at that point. OK, so at the moment we've got a program that works, but it's only running on two pins. And whilst it's storing the reading from the soil moisture, the only result we're actually seeing is when we press A. And again, because we've not got anything connected in the virtual one, we're not seeing any results here. What we want to do now is we want to actually program the remaining ports, port 2, 3, and 4, in order to actually run the server. And to do this, we need a couple of bits. So one of the things we need is we're going to need an if statement. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put this if statement under the if button pressed one. That should be down there. And what we want to do is we want this to only run if we get a low reading. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to say if, and we go back into the logic, and we use one of the comparison tools. We use this one, in fact. So if the reading is less than, and I'm going to put 500, but we might want to change this if we need the soil to be a bit moister. Then what we want to do is we want to go back into the pins, and this time we're going to run the servo. So we're going to say servo write pin. 
Now we don't want to run it on zero because it's not actually attached to zero. We're going to attach it to two. As you can see at the moment, it's attached to the same one that we've got the uh, loop running that's actually testing the moisture. So we're going to change that to pin two. And 180 is the position. Now we can change this so we can start with zero. And you'll see if we run it there, it starts in this position. Once it's done that, what I want it to do is I want it to pause. So I'm going to go back into the basic. I'm going to go down to pause. I'm going to put a decent amount of uh, milliseconds on here for it to pause. I'm going to use 3000. Then what I want to do is I want to change that per, uh, server position again. So I'm going to go back into the pins. I'm going to go back into servo right pin. Still want server, uh, pin 2. And this time I'm going to set it to 80 degrees. And we should see that we can now see some movement. So it moves between that one and across to that one. But we want it to go back again. So we're going to repeat the same process. So we're going to go again, down. Again, we're going to find the pause. Once again, we're going to write 3000 in. And once again, we go back to the pins. Use the servo right. Set it again to pin 2. We're going to return that to zero. And finally, we're going to add one more delay. And again, we're going to set that to about 3000. And try changing this and see what the results are. If we press play now, nothing's connected on zero one. And it will start to move. Now, just to make sure we know the program's running, just in case the servo doesn't respond the way we want it to. One thing we can do is we can add a show LEDs at the top here. If we put show LEDs, we can make some image. I'm going to use an umbrella because I've seen this on a couple of other people's uh, designs. So that when the servo runs, it will also display an, um, display an umbrella here. And we know if the umbrella is showing, we, the servo should be running. And therefore, if the umbrella is showing and the server is not running, potentially there's a problem with the servo and the wiring and not the program. So again, we'll run this, we'll see what we get. Okay, we can see that it's now alternating between these two positions. With quite a short delay, about 3000 milliseconds between the two positions. If we're not happy about these uh, positions, we can try changing the angle. We can get a bigger swing or a smaller swing as needed. But I'm going to start with 80 on this one. Okay, we've now got both the uh, pins, both the terminals going into the soil connected on the first two ports, the first two pins on the micro bit. If we press on A, you can see that the reading is quite a lot higher than 500. So at the moment, the servo here is not moving. Now, if we disconnect one of these leads, it should simulate what's happening if it was a lot drier. And at that point, and if we press on the, yeah, you, know, you can see it's now showing a watering can movement. And what we should now see okay, I've now disconnected the pen, which is simulating that there isn't much moisture, so therefore it should be watering. And the micro bit will now, every 5,000 microseconds, milliseconds, test to see if the moisture is above the amount it should be or below the amount it should be. And if that's the case, we should now see the server move. If that works, obviously we then need to attach a mechanism to actually deliver some water onto it. Okay, we should start to see some movement now. So it moves there and back. And if we don't want to wait, we can actually press the reset button on the micro base at the back to make it happen again, and make it start the program again. So I'll just try that now. Let's see, it boosts back in. Again, we can see it's getting a low reading on the moisture and we can see the mechanism moving again. Okay, you can see the water going onto the table. Obviously, your next mission is to work out how to connect this servo 
so it's connected onto the edge of the bowl and obviously to position the plant pot so that the water goes into the plant and not like my example onto the table.